Hey guys, Tech Mature with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. If you're getting this error message where it says accessory not supported, it is an error message that you get that happens sometime with some accessories that you might be using, particularly if you're using a charger, you might be getting this error. Now, there are multiple reasons for this issue. The accessory could be damaged, uh, the iPhone port itself could be damaged or wet. There's an iOS bug that's preventing uh, the phone from recognizing the accessory or it's simply just a simple thing around the port and the accessory both not just being compatible because of a software update and we'll walk you through all this step. So what happens is generally you'll plug in something in your phone like the charger itself you get this message and it might be annoying because of course it's not charging the phone or doing it. So what you want to do is wait a second or two, try again, keep on trying it a couple times because sometimes this message just seems to pop up if it's just a, a bad connection and you just have to do it a few times and hopefully it recognizes it, especially if you're using a genuine cable that is from the Apple store. And that's the next part you want to talk about is that make sure the cable that you're using is actually certified, MFI certified, which is made for iPhone, iPad, and Apple devices, for example, or the actual genuine accessory from the Apple store. Now, let's say you do have a genuine one and you're still having an issue. Well, the other thing you want to check, especially with chargers, are going to be the cube that you're using. So as you can see, you're using a 20 Watt while adapter. This is a genuine Apple one, but let's say you're using another one that's not genuine. Make sure you get one as well because the cable is as important as this box itself. So you're going to make sure you're using the right one, and that's really important, especially so that you don't damage your phone of any sort. Now, let's say you're still having an issue and you're using a genuine cable charger. Go ahead and use another accessory that's different from a charger. Let's say maybe you have a headphones because the headphones use the same port. Go ahead and plug in the headphones again just to verify that it's not the charger and if the air message goes away this time it's probably the charger that you're using could be damaged or broken somehow and you may need to get a replacement uh, charger so that's another quick test you can do now let's say you're still having the issue what else can you do well the next thing you want to do is actually check the port itself to make sure there is no dust buildup or any sort of clog that could be preventing the sensors from reading correctly in this method, you want to take a brush, non scratch brush, of course, toothpick, uh, maybe even a q tip, anything that you can simply just poke in there and look for dust. What happens is in that hole at the bottom, there's usually a buildup of dust and lint and things like that from your pocket over time, from exposure from outside dirt. Sometimes, buildup of that can prevent the charger. Simply just move your thing lightly and feel for it as much as you can use a light if you have uh also maybe those cans air cans that you can compress air just blow in there slightly to see if anything comes out that's really important to just verify the port is in the issue that's causing this air message to come up now let's say it still doesn't work you still keep on getting this issue now you can't access the phone to charge it's time to give your phone a force restart force restart is probably one of the biggest things you want to do in order to resolve any so all your software minor issues that you might be experiencing with your iPhone on the iPhone 8 and above, simply you want to press and release the volume up button, press and release the volume down button, and then hold this big side button until the phone goes completely black and you see the Apple logo one more time and then let it go. So in real time, press and release volume up, volume down, and then we're going to hold the side button. Now you'll see this mess, this page come up. We don't want to slide to power off. We're just going to simply hold the side button. Now, for some reason, if Siri pops up instead of that screen, that means you didn't press and release the volume up and down button quick enough and then hold the side button. So try one more time or a few more times. So you can see you want to keep hold it and then let go when you see the Apple logo. Again, if you hold it for too long where the Apple logo comes up, it might just do one more reboot, but that's fine. Go ahead and uh, reboot it to really clear out any sort of software minor issue that the phone may be experiencing. It's always good to do a force restart to kind of bring your phone back to its original performance. Now, go ahead and try your plug again one more time. If it's a charger, try it a few times, flip it around, even tr try a different outlet if you have a different outlet around your house, and also try a headphone again one more time just to make sure 
it's not the accessory or the headphones or either or whatever you're having issues with now let's say you're still having the issue now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and look for to see anything if there's any software uh, update that can be possibly done now software update happens uh, pretty much pre frequently and sometimes there's bugs with devices so what you want to do is simply go down here go to general software update in the settings here and then here check uh, for update usually you need a good internet connection and you'll notice here if there is an update it will come up here you want to go ahead and download and install the latest update we're not going to click on that because you need because it will take some time but we're letting you know so that you're aware this could generally take between 20 30 40 minutes depending on your Wi-Fi connection and how big of an update you're downloading if it's ver minor version bump or a major version bump it could take uh, you some time but Essentially, those steps should hopefully help you resolve that issue. Now, if you're still having the issue, it could potentially be an actual issue with the hardware inside the phone. If it got damaged somehow, you need to go ahead and take it to a uh, authorized Apple repair shop like the Apple Store or their, any of their local ones to have them take a look at the device to see if it's hardware issue or, or so whatever it may be going on. So hopefully one of these uh, tips help you guys resolve this problem and if you found another way make sure to leave a comment in the comment section to help everyone else thanks for watching guys and again if this video was helpful make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching see you guys uh, next time